working with an automotive axle um, most of the time, in fact I haven't ever seen one that didn't have a center in the end, but there's a center point in the end. So you can use that, you can use the splines or a turned area next to the splines, but don't use any of this stuff in the middle. It's tapered, it, it'll be all over the place. An axle that's straight, this stuff here will still wobble all over the place. It's, it's just rough forged. You also have a surface here that you can use where your uh, bearing is there. Um, as you could, if you needed, you could put a steady rest on that bearing if the bearing's good and, and runnable. Uh, I don't know if he's putting in new bearings or not. I'm thinking he's probably not since uh, you never know. Sometimes they bring you the stuff and then they'll pull the bearing and change it later. But anyway, we just, on this, all we were doing was turning down the outside. And I wanted to mention that because, well, again, it's one of those things I've known for years. Uh, Bert didn't realize that, and he was chucking up on the outside at first and dialing in to get it true. And then I came and explained to him the way to get it true with where it needs to be.